Anyway, apart from advent calendars, another thing which signals Christmas is almost here, is the return of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Yes, yeah, Sunday night, uh, ten celebrities will be entering the new camp, which has been relocated, as you know, from the Australian jungle to a castle in Wales. And among them is former EastEnder star Shane Ritchie and Coronation Street legend Beverly Callard. We're now joined by two people who know them very, very well. Shane's son, Shane Nolan. That's not two people, that's Shane's son. <laughs> it's called Shane Nolan. Look, wait a minute, for, before, before we speak to Charlie Lawson as well. Shane, there is this thing, isn't there, my friend? There's a lot of people kicking off on social media. What is your name? Are you Shane Nolan? Are you Shane Ritchie? Are you Shane Jr? What, what is it today? Right. Listen, Eamon, uh, do you know what? If Mo Farrow wins, I'm going to be Shane Mo Farrow Jr. I'll just make up as I go. Uh, but there's no pressure, of course. You've got... Uh, Mum has already won it, and Dad is in there, like, no pressure. But she won Big Brother. It, if she? it's not my mum, it's my dad. If it's not my dad, it's my auntie. Honestly, I turn around and someone's going into some reality show. It's madness. It's madness. And Charlie, um, Beverly Callard, um, obviously you worked with her for many, many years. When did she, did she tell you she was going in? How did you find out? Was it in the paper? Have you spoken to her much? Yeah, I, I, somebody told me on social media that she was very poorly a couple of months ago. So I rang her up and I said, apparently you're nearly dead. <laughs> anyway, but she said, no, she was fine and she was hoping to go into the jungle. And uh, But it was going to be largely down to... Um, you know, her specialists or whatever, because as you know, like she's had some terrible problems with her hip uh, post-surgery and all that. Lot. But I mean, you could make a whole program about that. So yeah, it was a couple of months ago, but she's loads better now. And then um, I heard the other day she was definitely going in. So uh, fair play dear. So Charles, was it a hip replacement she had? She went, no, it, well, it ended up being that, but she went in for, for something fairly trivial and, um, for legal reasons, I can't really go any further in because you yeah. know her star. All right. Yes. But uh, it ended up being um, not what it turned out to be and things went wrong. And the poor wee lamb ended up, you know, in a, in a serious way. And um, But she's a tough cookie and she's bounced back. And, um, and listen, I wouldn't be, uh, you know, I, I, I've been asked to be in the damn thing a couple of times, but I'm not really familiar with what they're going to be doing in Welsh Wales, but I can guess. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that pleasant, is it, Shane? Uh, when did you know? When did Dad you know, tell you? He told me, I think it was uh, the day before it was going to break in the press. So he kept it. it uh, I've been asking him and ringing him going, so, Dad, what are you doing for work? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I, was, I didn't know what he was up to. And then he dropped this bombshell and I was gobsmacked. Genuinely, genuinely gobsmacked. Well, he's Bookie's favourite. He's Bookie's favourite at the moment. Yeah, I know. I've, I'm going to, I think I might lump on a bit later when he goes to like six or seven to one. He's a bit short at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what will we see? I mean, we know your dad very well. Um, he, you know, he, he'll be a joker as well. What, what side of him do you think we'll see that people don't know about? Well, yeah, you don't get to see him when he's hungry, oh. tired. It's going to be cold this year. Uh, he did a show not long ago, uh, 71 degrees north or something like in the Arctic, and he was freezing. So I think he's, bit, he, he's a lot more prepared for the cold. Oh. Friday the 13th. Friday there I go the again, 13th. If we need any other proof. Charlie, you're on your own now. Um, <laughs> I don't bother. That'll teach him to do it in a second-hand clothes shop. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, um, do you know what I think they're missing there? I think they're missing you. Would you ever consider going in? I was asked twice... Eamon, but, uh, butch, hey. <laughs> I was asked twice um, years ago and... Um, uh, I, I said no because I was a, a bit sort of po-faced about it. You know, I, I regard myself as a, a as an actor, not a, a celebrity, and maybe that's me being a bit uh, whatever. But um, then I was told, advised by people, um, that the trouble was that I'd probably lose my temper with somebody who, uh, you know, I can't be doing with people <laughs> who are funny. That's why we <laughs> want you in. Yeah. That would have been great with you but, and Ben uh, in there together. Who knows? Yeah. But you see, there, sometimes that is the problem, Charlie, that it, you don't get good viewing with a lot of nice people that get on well together. 
that's why they wanted me to go in and get cross with people who were behaving like Jessies. <laughs> I think we've got Shane back. Have we got Shane back? There he is. I'm so sorry. The Wi-Fi is rubbish in my ass. No, it's, fri it's Friday the 13th, Shane. All sorts of things are going on here. Well, yeah, um, I know. What kind know. of things... Uh, you know, Eamon was saying, we, we know your dad is always upbeat and fun. That's the side that mostly we see of him. What yeah. things would annoy him about other people, perhaps? I don't know, maybe people bossing him about. I, I'm, I'm nervous to see what he's going to be like cleaning the dunny more oh, than anything oh, because, oh. yeah, that is going to be TV gold, I think. But, I, I, yeah, it's... You know what my dad's like? You both know him. He'll yeah. get on with anyone. But it, it's but when you're hungry, when you're tired, when you're not, you know, you're not eating, it, the littlest things get on your nerves. And How, how squeamish is he? I've seen is, that. is he easily turned, as we would say? I mean, has he got a, a weak tummy? Squeamish. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he'll definitely 100% be sick if he does the eating trial. <laughs> and let me tell you, I will be voting for that. Yeah. No problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now Bev, Beverly, what, what do we get there, Charlie? What do you think that uh, we will find out about Beverly that people don't know? Well, let me tell you something about Bev. If you rub her up the wrong way and um, whatever, she'll she'll um, she'll not only tell you to wind your neck in, she'll probably wind it in for you. <laughs> she's a very nice girl, so she is, and a lover of pieces. But uh, you know, she's a tough cookie, and um, she doesn't suffer fools gladly. She'll be patient up to a point, but if someone you know winds her up the wrong way, she'll not be backward and coming forward. So she'll not. What would her biggest fear be, do you think, Charlie? Has she got any phobias? Is she claustrophobic or hates heights or critters? Well, I'm not sure how she'll be with the old sheep's nuts. Put it that way, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, not to put too fine a point on it, but uh, I, I, because when we worked together, we were never asked to eat um, sheep's, you know what? <laughs> um, I, I'm, on, I'm only guessing, but uh, mind you, some of the food that the props guys gave us could have been worse. Could have been worse. Um, but, now, am I right in thinking that they've, she's put you down as a phone a friend, which we haven't seen or heard about before? What do you think that's all about? Well, she asked me um, when we had a chat. I don't know whether you're meant to know all well, this. Carry on, Eamon. But tell us anyway. Ruth. We know now. I'll tell you anyway, cause, because I like you. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, she said, can I be, can you be my um, go-to um, famous friend whenever I'm in the, the brown stuff or whatever? And I said, well, of course. So um, uh, I don't know how that will manifest itself. Uh, you probably know more than me about the programme, so we shall see, but I'll be... Uh, uh, I mean, I don't know how it works. I'm certainly not going to sit up all bloody night waiting for her to call me. <laughs> Shane, what about you? Have you heard about, have you heard about this phone-a-friend thing? Or No, I didn't get that gig, uh, so no, but I'm intrigued. Um, yeah. I would have thought it would be his, uh, his wife, my stepmom, Christy, yeah. I would have thought. Yeah. How nervous will you be watching him? Because obviously you saw you saw your mum, Colleen, and Big Brother, which she won. Um, but you know, it's, it must be quite nerve wracking watching your loved one going through this kind of stuff, or worrying that they might lose the temper. Or... Yeah, and, and what's actually worse that you mentioned before, he's favourite, so he can only go downhill here from here. He can't, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm really nervous, and you guys know him. You yeah. you guys know him, and he can he can. He can say stupid things sometimes. So I worry. Yeah, of course I worry. I didn't worry about my mum at all. <laughs> Not <laughs> at all. But oh, with my dad, I, th I think it'd be brilliant. But at the same time, I worry, yeah. Well, OK, I very good you coming too. on and uh, supporting uh, your, your, your guys in terms of dad and Beverly. Uh, Shane, Charlie, thank you both very much indeed. Uh, hopefully see you at home soon, Charlie, sometime. I uh, will have a paint with Michael on the crown. Good. Oh, good lad. I know you don't come further north than Carlisle Circus, so we'll um, maybe so. <laughs> You'll have to take me around there, I'll take the woods. I've been in safe hands with you, big lad. OK, I'm Charlie Lawson. Get me out of here. Thank you very much Thanks, indeed. Thanks, 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 well, ahead of the return of I'm a Celebrity, um, it's happening on Sunday. Uh, what time's it? Nine o'clock on Sunday yeah. night. And uh, this would be the perfect excuse to look back at some of the most shocking Bush Tucker trials from over the years. It, Have a look at this. It... Hi, guys. Hi, Good morning. How are you? In 2015, a terrified Fern McCann had to take on the panic pit. I'm going to give it a go. All you can do is your best, innit? Yeah. The Tawi star had already confessed her biggest fear in the world was snakes. So you can just imagine what ended up in the pit oh with God. her. 
Guys, what is that coming in? And more snakes. It's all snakes, all jungle pythons. I can't breathe. I don't like it. With over 40 pythons in the pit, you could say it was a bit of a squeeze. Stay where you are, Fern. Don't it's move. It's around my neck. Yeah, yeah don't yeah. move. It's around my neck, guys. Yeah. It's going to strangle me, I know it. <laughs> don't worry. It's around my neck. Yeah, everyone can see you. I'm doing a Britney Spears. <laughs> In one of the most nail-biting challenges, it was incredible to see Fern face her fears and walk away with all the stars. That was quite horrific. I can't believe I've done it. That was pretty phenomenal, that. Unfortunately for Toff, in a very similar trial, she was teamed with Amir Khan as a partner. The most shocking thing about this trial was hearing a former world champion boxer make these noises. Ah! 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 <laughs> what are you screaming for? Ah! Ah! You've got to remember, Toff's putting up with all of this. Ah! Oh, they're biting me! Yeah. <laughs> I've never screamed in so much in my life! <laughs> ah, ah. I want to get out. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Ah! Are you seeing I'm a celebrity to get me out of here? It's I'm a celebrity to get me out of here. No! I can't do it. All right, all let's, right get let's, out. It. let's get them out. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. out. One of the most common complaints from jungle mates is the smell of the cockroaches used in bush tucker trials. So unlucky then for Olympic medal winner Fatima Whitbread, who in 2011 managed to get a really good whiff. It's got a big nose. I can't get it out, it's crawling right. up. It's still yeah, it's up right. now, I feel it. <laughs> Definitely something wriggling about in there, Bob. Okay. One, two, three, go. Yeah, got it. Look at that. Success. What up? What up, Fats? Here he is, yeah. look. A live nice. cockroach. Look. Tissue, anyone? Now it's time for a clip that wasn't only one of the most shocking moments in the jungle, but in TV history. Take it away, Gillian McKeith. We'll explain it all, don't worry. We'll explain exactly what's going on, OK? Oh, 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 oh. Let's get Bob in. Bob, Bob. Uh, Gillian. I think it's best if we go to a break right yes. now. A break? I think we should watch it again. Oh, 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 oh. Well done, Dr. Bob, for helping Gillian without laughing and getting her back into camp safe and well. It was that cockroach up the nose so, one. I think we need the money, right? Not I in think a million your, years I'm going in there. But darling, you'd be very entertaining. <laughs> People would vote you in for every trial, they would <laughs> laugh at you. I could do the eating. I think I could do the eating trials. Yes. I'm not too terrified of heights, but I'm very claustrophobic, as you know. So the thought of being buried in anything and the lid closing, literally, no. You might get a medical exemption from that. I could. That might be fine. Darling, honestly... Are you going to go in? You I would in. vote you in. I'd do anything to get you in. <laughs> I would like I would, to throw you I would pretend to go in and you would come in behind me and then they'd close the door <laughs> and keep you there. Just kidding. Anything like that. <laughs> Honestly, it would be Sunday. such fun television. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you know, like, it could help you redeem yourself for Strictly, <laughs> you know? I don't need to redeem myself for Strictly. Well, I did I'm nine just saying, weeks in Strictly, thank you. You could be good at something. You could be good at this, I'm a celebrity. What would you be good at in the jungle? Nothing. Well, Chopping logs, be, no. I cooking, would be the man no. they would all turn to. <laughs> I would be there. You want a job done, get Eamon to do it. Yeah. That's what it would be. The dunny, I can just see it now. <laughs>